Hey everybody, Ben here from Cinderblocks to do this, and I'm back with a video talking about something that I think you guys probably ask yourself from time to time if you watch a lot of my videos. Should I use professional art supplies? I talk about them a lot. I talk about how great they are, but for the individual artist, you gotta ask yourself at some point, should I really be using them? Stick around. Now whether we're talking about paint, or pencils, or pastels, or whatever you happen to be working on, there are three sort of main and key grades, or quality levels, to any art supply you have. Student, artist, and professional grade. Student grade products are usually the lowest quality and the cheapest. They're made with big bulks of materials, so the quality control and checks behind all of them, may you may get some things that kind of slip through the cracks a little bit. Like say a pencil that has maybe a chip in it or something, or maybe part of the grain and it's not going to sharpen really quite right. What you will get though is sort of a consistent feel across every single product you use of a certain student grade range. You're going to get something that is consistent from product to product to product, despite maybe a handful of uh, quality issues, and you're going to get something that is really marketed to students and uh, really entry-level artists. People are just trying to get people interested in whatever the product is. Now, artist grade materials have a significantly higher quality than a student grade product, and the price point reflects that as well. You're looking at a mid-range, but still something relatively affordable. Artist grade products are the most widely available products for artists around the world. The products themselves are designed and marketed for artists of varying skill levels, and for the consistency of the product, you're looking at something that not only is consistent from you know, production run to production run, but also fairly consistent between brand. One brand of, say, acrylics or colored pencils to the next, you're not going to see a lot of difference between them. Now, for professional grade products, this is where things actually tend to get a little bit more interesting. First of all, you're looking at the highest quality and highest price point, and not always for the best reasons. Professional grade products of different brands are not always going to be available in every store, especially not available probably in every country. I mean, no art supply is going to be available everywhere, but a lot of artists and student grade stuff is going to be available in much larger global markets. Professional grade products are made with the best materials and designed to have the best performance. You're not going to get really any variation from batch to batch to batch on the production line, and they really take that extra bit of quality control to make sure that every single product is exactly the same. However, that said, there are distinct brand to brand differences. Uh, say a brand of paint like Liquitex versus Golden, you're actually going to see a slight difference in overall he like heavy body viscosity, you're going to see some different pigment changes, you're going to see a couple little things that are going to be different for each artist. And that's why they're professional supplies, is because every artist wants to use them just a little bit differently. And given the large variety of professional products out there, every artist is going to find something that they like. But we still have not answered our initial question here. How much does quality really matter? Well, I know this is probably going to sound like a little bit of a cop-out, but everything is going to depend on your needs. For certain media, at certain price points, the cost-to-value ratio not always going to equal out. For example, really simple materials, such as graphite, such as charcoal, aren't going to have a lot of differences between them in the first place. So getting a $1 pencil and getting a $5 pencil there's not going to be a huge level of difference there. Something like paint, on the other hand, has significantly wider margins for things like pigment quality, viscosity, as well as just consistency from batch to batch, which not every company cares about. Some things people just want to get paint in your hands, and that's great! I'm all for getting paint in people's hands, but at a certain point you have to really kind of look at what am I using, and is getting a higher grade product actually going to make my life a little easier? In my opinion, it usually does. The most important thing to remember, though, with this whole concept, is to test everything. Everything you can get your hands on to know exactly what works for you. I mean, I have some professional watercolors. I also have really old Crayola watercolors. I use them both, but for different things. Now, we've covered a lot of stuff today, so let's take a quick review. If you're just getting started in a medium, get yourself some student-grade stuff. It's going to be relatively consistent batch to batch might see a couple of minor weird quirks in between, but if you're just trying to learn a medium and you're just trying to figure out if you like it or not, the student grade stuff may be a really good cost-effective choice for you. Because let's be honest, nobody wants to get professional supplies if they don't even know if they're going to like the stuff or not. 
and that's just not worth the money. If you tried a student grade medium and you like it, upgrade to the artist level. Get yourself some stuff that's really going to last you a long time and it's going to be really useful for you, for you in the long run. And if you've been using artist stuff for a while or you even want to make the jump from student to professional, which is not a bad choice, because you know you're going to be really loving something, using, a, using it a lot and really dedicating your life to doing it. Actually, that sounds really, that sounds really crazy, dedicating your life to it, but really, that's the point, is when you fi fi find a medium that you love and you fall in love with it, you really want to get the best stuff. So, as always, if you learned anything, hit that like button. Let me know what you guys use in comments below. Consider supporting me on Patreon. This has been from Cinderblock Studios. See you guys next time. Oh, and subscribe for more. I think I forgot that one. I don't know how I forgot that. That's ridiculous.